August 6, Thursday, Feast of the Lord's Transfiguration A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. As he was transfigured before them, his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord His face changed in appearance. Jesus' transfiguration is also known as his metamorphosis. Divine light shines from within him, and he is fully revealed to the three apostles in splendor and glory. Jesus is seen as the new Moses in the New Testament, although Jesus is surely infinitely greater than Moses. At the transfiguration, both Moses and Elijah stand beside Jesus, but later disappear. The voice from heaven identifies Jesus as my beloved son, and the apostles received God's command, listen to him. This extraordinary experience becomes a source of assurance for Jesus as he faces the sacrifice on Calvary. <music>